Picture this for a moment. You're 16 years old and you don't speak Hebrew. You find yourself um, in a school in Israel, the best one you can probably get, where everything is in Hebrew. All your classes, social studies, sciences, everything. You're placed in a class with Israeli children who speak nothing but Hebrew. The teachers speak nothing but Hebrew. The books, the homeworks, the assignments are all in Hebrew. Everyone around you speaks Hebrew except from you. Imagine being 16 and navigating through a word you understand nothing about. Hello, my name is Dana Shpak. I'm 18 years old. I'm originally from Israel, and this was my life two years ago. I could barely speak and understand English. Before joining my school in Luxembourg, I used to be a very confident girl, a girl who used to talk nonstop, got good grades, not afraid to share my opinions regardless of what others might think. I had control over my life, my thoughts, and the way I used to express myself. But it all disappeared three years ago when my family moved to Luxembourg. Suddenly, in 10th grade, there I am in this international school where everything is in English, and I understood nothing. The teacher would talk, explain the materials, and I would try so hard to understand, but I simply couldn't. For the first time in my life, I felt like I wasn't Dana anymore. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt different. And as the days went by, I lost more and more confidence in myself, talked less and less, and cried more and more. I changed schools before in Israel, but here it was all different. Not only the language was different, but also the mentality. Suddenly, I didn't know how to socialize with people anymore. I felt like something was wrong, wrong with me, and all I wanted was to go back to Israel where I felt belonged. I've always appreciated teachers and their importance, but I never knew the impact of a EAL teacher that could make. My EAL teacher was more than a teacher for me. She was a mentor, a shoulder to lean on. I managed to get through the first year, and by doing so, a, a piece of the real Dana was uh, uh, brought back. When 11th grade started, my English improved a lot. My confidence went up and I started talking in, in class sometimes. As teens, we're constantly trying to figure out where we fit in. We're mostly unkind and very judgmental to ourselves. And then when we almost lose ourselves, we're incapable of noticing the little positive things that are happening to us. We need to notice them because they can brighten our day. Like when someone says hello using your name or tells you good job. For me, I still remember the first time I got invited to a party, how excited I was. I went back home smiling instead of crying. Now, when I look back, I can see so many positive reasons which have happened since arriving in Luxembourg. For example, I'm fully bilingual now. I met new people, made new friends, traveled, saw and experienced new cultures. I got to see a Christmas tree and the beautiful snow falling from the sky for the first time. Through my journey, I learned to appreciate the little positive things in life. As I grew more and more confident, I decided that I should speak up, stop being so different and shy for having a different culture, a broken English or a different background and share my experience so that it helps others. Something that is important to understand is that for teens, when we go through something, even when it's temporary, we feel like it's the end of the world. So as a new student in an international school, it's important that we are helped to understand that just because we have to work harder than anyone else in order to achieve half of their grades, it doesn't mean that we're not good enough or uneducated. It is all due to a language barrier. Actually, it's important, whoever we are, that we know that when we're in a situation where we feel like we're not fitting in, it doesn't mean that something is wrong with us. Today, I've graduated with a bilingual diploma, and I can promise you coming here in this new country was the best experience of my life, and I would not want it to be any different because I'm resilient, stronger than I was, I've learned to accept my own flaws. I know that any struggle we face is a preparation for the amazing and resilient person we're destined to be. 
I'm a winner and so are you. Anyone else can be. We're all capable of feeling better and living a better life. We just need to believe it, be helped to believe it. And we know that we need to appreciate every tiny victory. Thank you.